Hey viewers, Lance Corporal Joe Hartley here, Combat Mission Expert and Guide, bringing you uh, another mission from Combat Mission Shock Force 2. Uh, today, this is a uh, scenario where uh, our Marine Patrol, see the first squad here and the platoon and the company HQ, have been uh, stopped by a minefield. We've got a uh, further squad large marine squad um, further down the line, each with a uh, MG and a, uh, a rocket launcher called a S'more. Pretty uh, impressive weapons those, if they can hit the target. This in the planning phase right now, and we've been stopped by uh, a minefield in the direction, in the patrol direction here. So the minefield is uh, somewhere ahead of us. Uh, set up is a hill. Red Force are going to be uh, located somewhere on this hill, and uh, our job is to um, uh, punish them if they put fire on us. Now, one of the options we have is uh, an extraction zone. The helicopters just this is the edge of the extraction zone. The helicopters will land further to the to the west and uh, um, uh, take off our uh, wounded. Um, but let's just orientate the uh, infantry force um, in this uh, little uh, battle, in this little ambush. Now, objectives, blue force objectives are to, to destroy the enemy, especially HQs. Red force objectives is to destroy blue force, especially the HQs. Uh, so we're going to have to play it uh, pretty careful. Time, 15 minutes, not much. I'm going to play uh, real time and see if I can keep up, which means um, I won't be able to uh, uh, split down the squads. That might help, um, but uh, we'll see. Okay, let's get uh, let's get into it. some firing. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Red force on the hill. We're going to fire back. You can see these guys. Oh, there are they. You can see here this squad. See if uh, oh nice. Can we see? Is uh, Red Force jumping in out of uh, contact? Get the uh, G set up. We might better put some more fire on the enemy here. Maybe we just want to get the uh, guys to move forward a little bit. We don't have much time. Got to protect the um, HQs here. Oh, the command is gone. Let's uh, stop that or we'll go back for him. Where is he? Commander's back there. Let's see if we can save him. Give him some body aid. These guys are going to pull back. Minefield, haven't seen it yet. Let's creep forward. We know it's in front of us, but we don't want to get uh, hammered by it. That's a nice. Uh, couple of casualties already. MGL which is a um, six barrel grenade launcher, that's nice. One casualty here. Keep them moving forward just a little bit. Get the um, 
like that. Casually, let's see if we can give him some buggy aid. The guy's already dead. That's a bond. Buggy aid here. Casualty. Officer firing. Oh. Casualties, two casualties. Got to the minefield, oh no, did we? No. Minefield right here. Careful guys, careful, careful. Keep firing the dark guys on the hill. Put some steady fire up. Where's the MGs? The scrolling might make you a bit dizzy, I'm afraid. Target, let's target up there. Don't want the uh I don't want the HQs to get uh, hammered by the um, MGs on the hill. These guys. Keep going forward. As I said, um, having um, doing it real time is just pretty tough. To just put the squad down and still control the control the battle. I was going to go and pull, give him another assault of water. Are they medicking? Yes, they're close. Yep, started now. Commander might survive. As we get closer, we've got to um, be really careful about uh, what the. Um, Uh, we do because the fire can get really intense. Give them a burst. And the small one. Gotta love the small one. Don't see them all oh, there it goes. Don't have much ammo. Just clear the target. These guys get forward. These are uh, Syrian remnants oh, on, the, on the roof. Not anymore. Another small going off. Oh, don't run out of ammo. Don't run out of ammo. Guys being a medic, that's good. MG is still putting out a bit of fire. Get up there guys. Oh the uh, commander has been evacuated. Okay, they've done their job trying to save their buds. Get out of there. Attack, keep it to them. Being in ambush, you'd think uh, Red Force um, would be the ones advancing here. But uh, these are made up of uh, Syrian army remnants, so. Uh, and you got a few men, probably the Marines outnumber them uh, 3 to 1. But the advantage of the um, Syrians is they've got uh, all this open ground that they can uh, shoot into. More casualties. It's quite deadly getting across this open ground. And we're making for them. Let's run straight up. Come on, 
it, uh, leave it to the target here. Let's see um, if we can just do a quick move. See if we get any response. Because the Syrians could well have uh, run off. No, they're there. Give them a proper target order. No. Contacts in the back of the village suggest uh, the Syrians are on the move. Do you not want to get too far behind? Because we'll miss out on uh, destroying them as uh, many of them as we can. I'm going to turn the um, MGs off now. Clear target. Actually, it'd be really good if they could uh, run forward as well. Oh, I can see them. Get up there, target them, target them quick. Oh, we can see them, guys. Good, target them. And moving back from their uh, positions in the buildings. up though. These fellas. It's quite a bit dangerous running through the uh, village here. We don't know where the enemy is. There's only five minutes left, not very much time. Going to keep pushing forward. We need to catch them and destroy the uh, insurgents. This scenario was designed off a uh, marine ambush that um, happened in 1966 uh, Vietnam, where the uh, Viet Cong. Uh, ambushed this marine patrol as it was uh, moving through some uh, paddies. That's right, keep moving, let's go. And uh, the marines had to make a choice of uh, pediating their wounded. Oh, where's that fire coming from? Or um, pressing forward and fulfilling their mission of uh, destroying the enemy. In that scenario, the uh, marines uh, push forward uh, the uh, Viet Cong fled into the uh, jungle. Just want to be a little bit careful. Oh, that's exactly why. Stop. Oh, that's why we can ambush the second time. Throw these smalls out, that's good. Get those things out. Oh, jeez. A lot of firepower going into that uh, building. Target at least it's hard to target. Place the wrong way, mate. Stuffing around uh, with that um, fire, little firefight cost us a casualty as well as um, cost us uh, the time. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go. Race. It's a race. Anyone in there? I don't think so. These 
Skull ambush them. Maybe they they were. We pushed ahead by these guys. Not expecting much from this uh, action, it's just so small, so tiny, really very uh, experimental. And shooting. Very experimental, small scenarios. Okay. Target, target, target. Catch him. Very experimental in terms of AI and uh, and the way the forces um, are organised. Just really wanted to uh, give it a bit of a test run. Show people what uh, what it's about. Very limited time frames here, which is very unusual for combat mission. Oh, that would have hurt. That would have hurt. Are you reloading, aiming, firing. Yep, far away. Eight. No, they're not gonna fire. Stayed anyway from the infantry fire. Keep going, fellas. Two squads here, that's a uh, bit of seconds to go. Missed so much action. I've been zooming down to ground level. Don't see the bigger picture. But the bigger picture, you don't see the uh, guys uh, running on the battlefield. Yep, we'll cover here. Two seconds left. Total victory. That's uh, pretty decent. Usually I've only ever seen a draw or a minor victory. Destroyed the remnant HQs, very good. Secured 100 casualties, good. Four men kills, four men wounded. The Syrians had uh, 15 men in total. Nine kills since left. That's pretty nice. Two casualties. None. One. Four. Two casualties. Left the EMGs behind. None. None. Of course. The machine gunners uh, don't, have, don't always have a good day. That's uh, Combat Mission Shock Force 2. So design your own scenario action. 15 minutes of uh, fun. And I uh, thought it was a great uh, little uh, um, scenario design. I thought I'd uh, show people. And uh, signing off for uh, Lance Corporal Joe Hartley here and uh, Wombat Creek. And we'll see you in the next one.